Hi everyone, well here I am, Zagreb, Zagreb Airport at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, heading for Kenya. Paperwork in hand, untold paperwork, to travel, but hey, that's the way it is and that's what you need these days. But hopefully, we're all up together. I definitely haven't got COVID because I've had about three tests so far. Um, it's all a money-making machine, isn't it? But anyway, that aside, I'm actually heading to Kenya and uh, really looking forward to this one. If you want to follow me on this fantastic little trip, um, don't, hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring that little notification bell, and you will be notified every time I bring out a new video that might help you decide where you'd like to go next. So yeah, I'm off to Kenya. We're gonna be um, going on safari, staying with the Maasai tribe for a little while, checking out some um, fantastic paradise beaches, um, looking at dolphins, um, going to a turtle island, and anything else you wanna chuck into the aquarium, a lot, lot more. So yeah, hit that little subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and you can follow me on this fantastic little adventure. Uh, really excited about this one. So yeah, see you in Kenya. So this is Zagreb Airport and uh, it's actually quite a nice airport, well organized if you want to have your um, PCR or other COVID jabs you can have it all done here literally as soon as you walk through the entrance um, you can see the COVID-19 centre right in front of you. Uh, you can get your anti-gen 1 straight away. Well, within two hours, the PCR takes about anywhere between 24 uh, and 36 hours. So always good to get it, um, you know, keeping yourself within time of your flight. Otherwise it could create problems. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is miss your flight just because you're waiting for your results of your PCR literally 36 hours before your flight um, it's, it's, it's valid for 72 hours so you've got plenty of time um, but yeah this is Zagreb Airport not too crowded it is 10 o'clock I'm waiting for my flight to uh, Kenya So, on my way to Nairobi, I've stopped off at Doha and got myself a curry because it'd be rude not to. Cost me 15 quid. I actually wish I hadn't bought it, but there you go. Too late now. Mm. I um, highly recommend that you walk straight past the curry section. It smells nice as you get there and that, but I'll, I'll tell you what. It's probably one of the worst curries I've ever had. Tasteless, absolutely no flavour. Um, if, you, if you like your really, really mild curry and nothing else, then maybe go for it. But 15 quid is quite a lot of money to pay uh, for a small plate of curry. They're actually tasteless. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say any more on that. So it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've just arrived at Joma Kenyatta International Airport and uh, I've just grabbed myself an Uber. Uh, I didn't want to film at the actual uh, international airport because it's a bit of a haven for pickpockets, thieves and anything else you want to add to the equation. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically getting an Uber. I'm heading to my hotel where I'm gonna settle in, get my stuff down, uh, have a quick shower. Then I'm gonna head out and meet up with a friend of mine called Rono and he's gonna help me plan um, my journey to Masai Mara where I'm going to take you to visit Maasai tribes and also on safari to see some animals. How wonderful is that? So yeah, watch this space.
so this is the Zarita Hotel where I'm staying um, it really is the basics but for 12 quid a night you know you can't be fussy and as I'm on a budget it fits perfectly into my budget picture of giraffes and this is my room and as you can see I've got a little work desk fantastic nice big double bed for me I've also got mosquito nets which are really important um, you really don't want to get bitten all night by mosquitoes hear the chickens croaking in the background here we got a toilet very basic again a sink and a shower that looks a bit like a gas chamber but as I say for 12 pounds a night you know you really can't complain I'm gonna be here for two nights um, there's no swimming pool here or anything like that it is basically just a place to get sorted out uh, straight from the airport um, and then tomorrow or in two days time I'll be heading to Narok. Finally I arrive at my hotel Zarita Apartments, Boutique Apartments in Kenya. I just got off the plane at Kenya International, Kenyatta International Airport. I didn't want to do any filming there because it is a bit of a haven for pickpockets and thieves and the last thing I want to do is lose my camera equipment uh, before, I, before I even start. So anyway, here I am in sunny Kenya. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's already 18 degrees. Um, it's going to be a hot one. And what I'm going to do today is get settled into my room. Then I'm going to meet up with a good friend of mine called Rono and we're going to discuss the plans on going to Masai Mara um, where we're going to go on safari, go see animals, we're going to meet the Maasai tribe, find a little bit about their culture, see how they live. Um, yeah, it's all going to be good fun. So, watch this space. <laughs> 